The first came in December, the second just last week. Two rounds of low elevation snow, but only two after stretches of warm and dry weather is no question not normal. We've been very starved for snow along the front range. It's a warm, dry trend that Colorado State climatologist Russ Schumacher is following closely. Really going back to about the beginning of October, I mean, it really has been exceptionally warm across Colorado. So what is different about this winter than winters past? For one, the track of the jet stream. We haven't had the jet stream coming down across Colorado really much at all over the last few months. The jet stream is a narrow band of winds that steers our weather and moves storms. Normally, that weather highway brings storms right over Colorado. We get a trough of low pressure in the western U.S. and the jet stream moves across the state and 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 develops a storm system and and we get a bunch of snow in the mountains and maybe snow on the eastern plains and that just really hasn't happened much. Research has suggested climate change is shifting that jet north. The west coast is getting hit with a lot of storms, but Colorado, not so much. The jet stream seems to be avoiding us, curving around Colorado. And the few times we have had the jet kind of move across the state, uh, it's been bringing the big wind rather than, than moisture and precipitation. As for the warmer temperatures we've been having, Schumacher says it's really not unusual to see 60 degree days in the winter in Denver. What's unusual is the amount of 60, even 50 degree days we've had. We know the climate's warming. We know that that basically just tilts the odds towards uh, having it be more likely to get one of these uh, warm winters and for prolonging um, the, you know, the, the above average temperatures. The good news, at least when it comes to this winter, we still have a couple normally snowy months to go. So there is time, but just like the snow, not a lot of it.